San Antonio. This is Rob for The Metalworks. Yes, I am out of the grave here in 2010. Only for a very special band that I've been talking about before the retirement. You've heard me mention the band from Austin called Dead Earth Politics. I'm very happy to have the gentlemen with me here this evening partaking in our goodwill and our love for their music. We're here to support The Weight of Poseidon, their debut CD. Let me welcome Ven, Mace, and Ernie of the band to the Metalworks. Gentlemen, how are you doing this evening? Doing all right. Doing all right. Very good. Splendido. Ernie, I know you're having a good time, buddy. <laughs> but, um, you know, tonight's a very special evening. I was not uh, kidding uh, when I said earlier that I came out of retirement after one year of not doing any work for this program to interview you guys. Okay? Um... Only because Ven said, Rob, here are new stuff. Check it out. He sent me the unmastered uh, tracks. I listened to it. I loved it. And I told Ven there and there, I said, you know what? When the, when the real deal comes out, I will interview you guys because I think you deserve the support and recognition for the great work on The Weight of Poseidon. Let me officially welcome each of you uh, to the program. Thank you, uh, man. It, if, uh, if it weren't for people like you supporting metal, especially local and regional metal, it, we wouldn't be anywhere. Nobody would have a chance, Rob. So thank you so much for, uh, for bringing us into your home, into the metal works, and supporting the DEP. Van, I'm going to start with you this evening. Um, uh, I know this band, people ask me about your band all the time, and I... I, I always say, you know, they're a fairly new band. You guys have been around maybe for four or five years, I think, since 05. And so somebody uh, kind of give me the synopsis here. The brief history. Um, Ernie and I started playing together in 2003. Uh, how long have you been here from Kansas? Uh, yeah, about <laughs> 2000. <laughs> I'm an import. I'm an import to Texas, yes. Um, well, so we started playing together in 2003 in a band called Grunt. Uh, it's, it's actually mentioned on that record. Um, and uh, it kind of evolved out of it by 2004 or so, and uh, through a number of lineup changes, uh, found ourselves looking for a singer, and found this gentleman right here. I used the term loosely. How'd you find him? Where, where'd you find him at? Uh, Austin. In a drunken ditch in the, no, in, the, in the back alleys of Austin? Where'd you find him? In, in, through the paper, man. It's where all great bands Austin come together. Chronicle? Yeah, Austin, Austin Chronicle, absolutely. Uh, we, we actually picked him second, um, it's true, uh, look at him now. yeah, and look it's at him now, true. we made a mistake on the first pick, the, the guy that we didn't last, uh, longer than about, what, less than 90 days, right? I, I still had your name in my phone when yeah. you called me, I didn't have yeah, a I chance called. to delete. But so yeah, I called him up and, and kind of patched things up and, and said, hey, let's talk, and we sat down and took it from there and it's been really good since I, I would I would I would have to you know just to, to add in there that I don't think there was any patching up that needed to be done uh, a lot of a lot of people have uh, this thing called an ego and though I do have an ego mainly because I'm great um, you you have to step you have to it is it is uh, that's why I'm so awesome because I'm humble but um, the you, we, when you're auditioning for for bands it's also a business endeavor. Yeah. So if you get passed over, I mean, a uh, little little information here. I also got passed over for Bangladesh before Bangladesh threw their, mm, yeah, put, really? chose Bangladesh yeah. as their as their moniker. Yeah. Uh, which was right. I mean, when when they were still around, JC was a perfect fit for them. I would not have been. But you know, it's a business decision. Don't get pissed off when somebody says, "No, nah, we're going to go another way." Right. But anyway, that's my rant. Um, San Antonio, go ahead and take a look at the cover work for The Weight of Poseidon. Just came out not too long ago. I'm sure you can pick it up at uh, the website or on Facebook, MySpace, wherever, online. Um, Best Buy? Uh, yeah, yeah. It actually will be released uh, in uh, Best Buy, FYE, Sam Goody, well, Sam Goody, which is now FYE, uh, uh, retailers. Um, May 18th is when it'll actually be there, but you can purchase it online also at deadearthpolitics.com, which will link you to our our own little store in the web spaces. When I uh, started hearing uh, the real CD and the mastered uh, tracks, I even love this CD more 
Um, for the people out there uh, who have never heard Dead Earth Politics, talk a little bit about who you are musically. Anybody? Wow. Well, I can only speak for myself. I mean, uh, you know, I, I grew up on Sabbath, Maiden, Priest. Then the whole thrash thing happened. Then death metal happened. And then somewhere around 1990, I discovered jazz, fusion. And then I ended up in this band. I don't know what happened after that. I'm, it's a complete blank. It's a blur. It all leaked out. Yeah. It was disturbing for him. Well, you know. Still in therapy. We all have a bunch of different various backgrounds. Uh, we were talking about it earlier this evening. Um, and I think and kind of tying into that whole musical identity thing, people ask us a lot, especially younger kids. They go, well, well what, what kind of metal are you? Um, you know, they want to hear something core or some, some name that they can dial into. They just want to have something to identify you guys sure, with. Sure. Yeah. Um, and I don't think it's that easy for us. I, I think our, our influences are diverse enough. Um, and what I end up saying is we are all old enough to be from a time when metal was just metal. Uh, it wasn't, you know, this core or that core or whatever. And uh, we are metal. Uh, that's not to say we're Stone Age, but you can't pigeonhole it the way you can uh, uh, the way a lot of people do and, and, and I totally agree with you I mean um, I think you guys are um, delivering a, a, a wide range of musical diversity uh, one of the things that I also like about this because you know um, during the history of our program we've received many CDs from local artists one of the things I ultimately um, quickly uh, uh, enjoyed about your CD is that it sounds so fucking great on the stereo. So, talk a little bit about like who did the mixing, like how how did uh, I mean who recorded this? I mean how long did it take? Well, um, as as far as uh, who we worked with, that's uh, something that we can all go on and on about. Um, the thing about Dead Earth Politics working with people professionally. Um, what, what did you say? We have a bad track record? <laughs> or, or, or we have a good track record, it's just everybody else has a bad track record. We're very, we're, we're perfectionists. Uh, we, we, don't, we don't settle. We, we sometimes have specific ideas and sometimes the ideas aren't specific. Sometimes the concepts are, are specific and we want um, the people that we work with to grow on that, you know, because we don't necessarily want to do all the work, uh, but there are certain parameters that we have and, and we have been proven uh, incorrect on those parameters now that that being said the only person and this is not to talk poorly about anybody else who's worked with us on the CD but the only person who uh, has hit the nail on the head um, with everything that we were going for would be Josh Woodhouse with Droplink Productions um, absolutely uh, Josh Woodhouse in Austin in Austin Droplink Productions um, this this cat now we recorded in, in several different uh, areas uh, Stinson Studios for uh, bass and drums to, to get the thickest uh, mediest background that we could uh, the uh, Fast Horse Studios Workhorse Studios, Fast Horse uh, Studios. Uh, thank you uh, for for guitar and then Droplink Studios proper for um, vocals and sleigh bells yeah yeah I think uh, I didn't hear him in the mix. Yeah. Okay, well, gentlemen, uh, nonetheless, uh, great work. Uh, I'm glad that um, you hold uh, your work to high standards because it's definitely paid off. And I think a lot of people have recognized this CD and a lot of people uh, will consider this CD to be, uh, you know, go down in, in Texas uh, metal history, especially um, of metal bands out of Austin.